Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I do planner videos on Thursdays, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I am feeling like more like myself the last couple days because I'm getting into the second trimester and um, my fatigue and brain fog have gone away. So I'm feeling really driven to like get a lot of stuff done channel wise, video wise and like, you know, make progress on some of my goals. But that also has coincided oddly with uh, a gap where I didn't really know what videos I was going to make. So I guess in a way that that timing worked out pretty well because I have to actually think about what I'm talking about and I haven't outlined anything. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and talk to you until I have to go back to work um, about planner sizes. I have gotten um, some questions a couple of times, comments, things like, would you ever consider trying XYZ style or size of planner? Um, why don't you switch to X? Why don't you, you know, try or whatever? Why don't you use a bound bull bullet journal anymore? Um, why did you move away from traveler's notebooks? Why did you move away from personal size? Basically, I have been in this ring planner, pocket size ring planner for just about two years right now. Um, before that, I was in um, the pocket size. Yeah, it was called pocket size um, traveler's notebooks. That's the field note size, three and a half by five and a half. This is slightly smaller than that, but it's pretty comparable. Um, I think this is closer to passport size, but it's sort of the equivalent. Um, and I was in that for, I don't even know, a couple years. Um, before that, I was in a personal size traveler's notebook and I had to size down because it was just bugging me. Um, really, it was the ratio of the pages. Um, it, they just felt so skinny and tall that I wanted something that was a bit wider. Um, I, people don't really talk about like size ratio with their pages when choosing sizes very often, except for Jennifer Harvey of Chic Sparrow. I watched uh, her series of videos where she was trying out all of the different sizes that Chic Sparrow makes and she was like planning in them. And um, she kept talking about how she has a real thing about page size ratios. Um, I don't think mine is quite as specific as hers, but I do find that if it's too narrow, I just, it was, it was a weird size for me that it didn't feel wide enough, but it also felt too long. Um, and so sizing down, um, the pocket size, I believe is a little bit more narrow, but significantly shorter. And so the traveler's notebook size, um, the, the field note size worked really well for me. Um, but then I decided to move into rings and it's, like I said, a similar size. I would say the only issue I have with the Filofax pocket size is that, um, sorry, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Uh, the only issue I have with the Filofax pocket size is um, that it's a little bit too narrow for a standard post-it note. Um, the pages are three and a quarter inches wide. Post-it notes are three inches wide. And do I have one in here right now? I don't think I do. But basically, between the edge of the page and the edge of the punch is more than a quarter inch. And so if you put the post-it note in vertically with the sticky part on top, it'll fall over the edge. So you kind of have to put them in sideways and then they still do fall over the edge, but at least it's not the sticky side. So that's the issue. Um, I did find some post-it notes. They're actually post-it brand that are two and a half by three inches. This is the same size that um, the Peanuts Planner Co. post-it notes are the same size as well, two and a half by three. So that's a little bit tricky. Other than that, I love this size so much. Um, as I did say, I've never been tempted to try out the personal size rings. I've never used personal rings. Um, these are the, this is the only size ring planner I've ever owned. Um, like I see personal pages on, they're very popular online. There's a lot on Instagram and stuff on Facebook. Um, I see them all over the, um, the social media of the inserts that I like to use. And so, you know, it, it, it gets that sort of FOMO, I guess, in the back of your mind where you're like, oh, well, what if I was in that size? Basically what it comes down to 
I look at those and what I like is the way that stickers fit better. <laughs> and I don't actually use stickers that much. And sometimes I feel like I want to use stickers more, but that the issue is that they don't fit very well. Um, but then like, I don't think that that's a good enough reason to change planner sizes. And then, so the two reasons why I don't try out the personal size rings. Okay. Three reasons. Reason one is like, I don't want to have to recreate all of this year to year. There's some inserts in here that I've been using from the beginning. Like here, this is my, um, birthdays and anniversaries insert. And as long as I stay in this size, I'm never going to have to remake this. I can add to it, but it's, you know, evergreen and I don't have to redo it. If I move into a new system, I would have to not only remake my evergreen stuff, I'd have to redo all my yearly stuff, all my monthly stuff, all my dailies, all my project pages. Um, it wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be able to fit these inserts into personal rings, I don't think, because I'm pretty sure the, um, I just grab this and look, my punch. This tells me what the spacing is. You can't see this, but I'm looking at like the spacing. Here we have these three rings on one side and yeah, they don't line up to be like an even number over. So if I put one of these in there, I would have to punch at least one new hole and then it would be like, well, what if I go back to pocket? Then it's like ruined, obviously not ruined, but just, it's not worth all of that effort to move <laughs> systems for something I'm not convinced I would love or want to commit to. Uh, reason number two is because I've already used the personal size in a traveler's notebook and I already talked about how I didn't like the dimensions of it. I found it too narrow and too tall and not just the wrong dimensions. And um, I know that rings are different than traveler's notebook inserts. Um, you know, as far as margins, the pages would have a separation between them. And so it might feel wider than it really is. Also, it might feel narrower because there's rings in the way. I don't know. Um, I, what I do know size wise is uh, my mom is in personal rings right now. And she, um, she got it. She was in a B6 traveler's notebook. She got personal rings thinking smaller pages, smaller journal. The problem, she wasn't taking into consideration that the rings take up a lot of room, both horizontally and like width wise. So like um, depth wise as well as width wise. So she ends up with a chunkier planner overall, or at least equivalent to what she had in B6 while losing page real estate. So um, I'm not sure. I haven't talked to her lately about how she's feeling like planner piece wise with the size. Um, maybe she'll comment in the description or down below in the comments because um, I know she does watch my videos. Hi mom. Um, and so, yeah, so I don't feel like I, I want the page size. The reason number three is the back pocket, the wallet pocket or whatever this is called. The pocket size file packs has this wallet pocket along the back spine. And this is the greatest thing ever. I love it. The size works out really well. So actually a letter size piece of paper, if you fold it in half, there's not too many of them. If you fold it in half, it'll just fit inside this back pocket. So if you're taking this to meetings or something, that wallet size will actually fit in the back. Uh, the wallet pocket will accommodate a half letter sheet. It'll just peek over the top. So that's good enough to you know take your meeting handouts home with you um, and you know do something with them without having to like carry an extra folder or something. Um, also, this back pocket. Um, do I actually right now? No, I don't right now. Um, but you know those like legal pages. Oh, here's a here's a piece of paper. Those legal pads that are like the small size. There's just some channel notes. Um, this size. I think they're like five by seven ish. Um, this piece of paper folded in half actually fits perfectly into this back pocket. So for the same thing, I sometimes will use this those little legal pads. I use them for taking notes on the phone at work. Um, and so if I have some notes on there that I've jotted down, I can just tuck them in the back here and save them with me. 
So that's really convenient as far as pocket sizes go. And generally, I just don't want to give up this wallet pocket. And I think you can only really find it in pocket size filofaxes and probably as like a customization option if I were to get like a personal size Vanderspec or something super pricey. But again, if I'm just testing out a size, I don't know if I like it. I'm not gonna invest in a custom planner for something that I don't even know if I'm gonna like it or not. Oh, quick insert. I thought of another reason why I want to switch, but I'm not going to. Every time I'm at Michael's, I feel like I want to switch to a personal size ring planner because that's what they sell there. They have personal size inserts um, that are like Michael's brand or whatever available in stores that you can look at. And just the idea of being able to pick up a notepad you know, or like a, um, a sticky note insert or just whatever is there, the accessories and the, the papers and things and being able to just throw them straight in. I like the appeal of that, but at the same time, I'm not always a fan of the aesthetic of what's available at Michael's. But um, the problem with the pocket size is that it's really only available online. I've never seen anything pocket rings available in a store. Not of the, none of the ones that are near me anyway. So I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I guess the reason I don't switch planner sizes is because when it comes down to it, I'm really happy in this. I like the size of it. I love this particular leather. Um, you know, the Malden is great. It just feels so chic and sophisticated um, without being like super expensive. So I don't have to worry about hurting it too much because a couple of scuffs just kind of adds a little bit of character. Um, you know, this is less than $100, so I don't have to, you know, worry about it. Mostly, if I lost this, what I would be worried about was the contents rather than the planner itself. So I don't have to baby it. Um, that's, you know, where I feel comfortable at this point. I also have another Malden, so if something happened to this, it would be heartbreaking, but I have another one. Um, I, I love the planner itself. I love the features, the pockets. I love the size of the pockets, and I love the size of the inserts. It can occasionally feel a little bit small, which is the reason that I have been trying out the Happy Planner mini size for some projects at home. But honestly, I'm starting to feel like I'm ready to move those back into my everyday carry and have them here in my pocket size um, because it just, I like the portability. It doesn't feel too small for me. Um, I am a small writer. So this video is not necessarily about why you should pick pocket. It's about um, why I don't want to move out of a pocket size. Um, I've been happy in this size for two years. I've been happy in similar sizes for longer than that. Basically, if you want a lesson out of this for yourself, <laughs> I'm not here to preach, but if you wanted a lesson, it would be don't try what other people are doing just because you like what they're doing. Because even if you were to copy someone else's spread exactly down to the, the pens used and the style and the fonts and everything, the fact that you made it, all you would see is the flaws. And so you wouldn't be like, oh, draw droppingly awesome. Like when you're scrolling on Instagram, you're getting impressions, you know, and maybe if you ca something catches your eye, you get some ideas. Those ideas should then become your own that you use in your own planner. But you're never going to get that exact moment where like in real life, the colors have been, you know, changed ever so slightly so that the reds pop and it just makes you go, ooh. You know, that's, that's for the Instagram feed. <laughs> in real life, what makes you happy is what works for you, what works for your brain, what fits your system, what fits your handwriting and the pens you like to use and all that. So basically, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And that is my moral today. Thank you for listening to me talk for a long time about that. Um, I appreciate you sticking around through some of my less structured videos. Next week is going to be a weekly plan with me video. Um, I'm in the uh, my summer touch week on a fold out this month. This is this current week that I'm in um, and I'm liking it a lot. I'm back where I'm feeling a bit more comfortable and a bit more at home um, in inserts that I know a little bit better and so it's working out for me and I'm excited to share with you how I've been using it this month and uh, will continue to be. So subscribe if you have not already so that you don't miss that video when it comes out next week. Um, between now and then will be a video on Sunday as well about weekends. 
on the weekend. How apt. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.